वेलकम एवरी वन वी आर डिस्कसिंग डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टूडे आई विल डिस्कस आई विल सॉल्व सम टिपिकल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन तो लो प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन एक्स वाई स्क्वायर माइनस ई टू दी पावर वन बाई एक्स क्यूब डी एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर वाई डी वाई इक्वस टू जीरो एंड सेकेंड वन एक्स डी एक्स वाई डी वाई एक्स डी वाई माइनस वाई डी एक्स ए स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर वाई वाई स्क्वायर बाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम If we get this term, x dx, y dy, x dy minus y dx, then we use some standard result. That is, d of x y, d of x by y, d of tan inverse y by x, so on. So, look at this problem. Suppose problem number two. Now. This one, this is equals to you know you can easily integrate it. So we can write it in this form: x dx plus y dy by e square minus x square minus y square. And taking this term to the numerator, so we are getting. So meaning remaining same. Now you know try to recall d of tan inverse y by x. So this is one by y square plus x square d of y by x. So if we simplify it. x square by x square plus y square. This is x square x dy minus y dx. So this one is x square x square cancel. So we get d of tan inverse y by x. If we get x dy minus y dx equals to x square plus y square. So one term is extra. This is this root over is extra. So we try to remove extra term. So look, we can write it in this form also. So we can write it d of x square plus y square x dx y dy half. And this is a square minus x square minus y square into x square plus y square. So x dy minus y dx by x square plus y square. Meaning remaining same. Look, multiplying by root over x square plus y square make it balance. Now, if we put x square plus y square equals to z, so so left hand side is so half of dz by a square minus z into Root of r, z. Root of r, z. And this is d of tan inverse y by x. Now, this can be easily integrated by taking root z. So z equals to p square. Z equals to p square. So what is d z? Two p. dp so it is dz equals to 2p dp so half is cancel this is p dp now root over z this is p so 
so this is a square minus z square equals to d tan inverse y by x d tan inverse y by x now we can integrate both side because look here variables are separated so pp is cancel out and this is tan inverse z by a so this equals to so if we integrate this so tan inverse tan inverse z by a equals to sorry this is not tan inverse sin inverse sin inverse look sin inverse a square minus z square equals to tan inverse y by x plus c so z by a equals to sin c plus tan inverse y by x where c is integration constant so what is z z equals to p square p square equals to a sin c plus tan inverse y by x now what is z z equals to again x square plus y square equals to a sin c tan inverse y by x so this is general solutions so this is a typical problem so we can also alternatively solve it by putting x equals to r cos theta y equals to r sin theta if we get these two terms x dx plus y dy and x dy minus y dx we can also differentiate if we can find dx dy then eliminating x and y we can write problem in terms of r and theta we can solve this problem so you have to recall this result i have already discussed this type of problem uh, one one can also be solved by this same method look i am giving one step only hint so look x y square minus x square y dy equals to what e to the power 1 by x dx so x y common y dx minus x dy equals to e to the power 1 by x cube dx so you can also solve it by finding integrating factor you find dy by dx then taking integrating factor you can also solve it now if we divide it by x square so what we are getting x dy minus y dx by x square so this one is x y unchanged and make it balanced by x square e to the power 1 by x cube dx so dividing by x square we get this because this one is a function of x so we are dividing throughout by x square or you can write it x square here so here putting minus 1 because it is a function of x because you if you divide by y cube sorry y square then you get also formula this is y by x otherwise it will be x by y so this is d of y by x d of y by x e to the power 1 by x cube x square 
this creates no problem but look it is y so if you take here y by x since it is y by x so you can take here y by x so y by x and this x to left hand side and dividing by 1 by x so this is 1 by x square look at the step y by x to make it y by x we have to divide y by x we have to divide by x square so you divide it by x square now it is if you put 1 by x cube as z so minus 3 x to the power minus 4 dz equals to dx so 1 by x to the power 4 dz dx dx equals to minus dz by 3 so look this is y by x minus d of y by x and this is 1 by x4 so minus dz by 3 e to the power z 1 by x cube equals to z so minus minus cancel so what you are getting y by x equals to 1 by 3 e to the power z plus c so putting value of z you get general solution so this is one method otherwise you find dy dx and you can solve it by in by taking by expressing it as a linear differential equation and finding integrating factor now we consider some practical problems that is application of differential equation so from 6, 7, 8, 11 and 15 from description box you may see that practical problem suppose problem number 6 a curve C has the property that the tangent at P meets coordinate axis at A and B while P is midpoint if the car passes through 1 1 then find equation of the car so look at the figure back calculation so this is midpoint so p is p P is any point. Suppose x1, y1. This is curve C. A curve C has the property that at P on C, tangent at P on C cuts coordinate axis at A and B. P is mean point. You have to find equation of curve. So, we need idea of tangent. So, what is tangent? Equation of tangent y minus y1 equals to dy dx. If the point is x1, y1, then x1, y1 into x minus x1. Now, we have to find coordinate of A and B. So, when it cuts x axis, when it cuts x axis y equals to 0 so minus y1 equals to dy1 by dx1 into x minus x1 so what is x what is x minus x1 you calculate first minus y1 into dx1 by dy1 so what is x 
x1 minus y1 into dx1 by dy1. So similarly, we can find y intercept also. So what is coordinate of a? Coordinate of a is x1 minus y1 into dx1 by dy1 comma 0 and coordinate of b you get 0 and y coordinate now look at the condition midpoint of p is x so x equals to this plus 0 by 2 similarly we can also find y coordinate y1 equals to 0 plus y coordinate by 2 so look so what is our given condition since p is midpoint so x1 equals to x1 minus this is y1 y1 into dy1 by dx1 plus 0 by 2 so if we calculate this is 2x1 and this is x1 so x1 equals to this is obviously y1 y1 into dy1 by dx1 so separate the variable so and this is dx1 so this is dx1 this is dy1 so this is x1 this is y1 so separate the variable so dx1 by so dy1 by so dx1 by x1 dy1 so this is by y1 so this is log x1 plus log y1 equals to log c so x1 y1 equals to c taking log we get log x1 y1 so this is our general solution now to get c one condition is given it passes through 1 1 since it passes through 1 1 passes through 1 1 so this implies c equals to 1 so what is equation of curve so equation of curve curve x1 y1 equals to 1 so if we replace x by this is that is x y equals to 1 so we have taken this as x1 y1 that is why we are getting equation in terms of x1 y1 so we are accustomed to see equations in x and y so what is transform equation x y is 1 otherwise you have take you have to take p as x y then you have to use current coordinate that is capital x and capital y so to avoid this we are taking this one as x1 y1 so this is equation of curve so equation of curve is a rectangular hyperbola answer is given in this form it is parabola it is hyperbola it is ellipse it is circle so answer will be rectangular hyperbola that is parabola so you need idea of tangent only now we consider problem number seven the normal to the car same type of problem it is normal at p x y meets x axis at z if distance of z from 0 0 is twice the axis of p then curve is this so this is any curve pt is tangent so normal is perpendicular to it so pz is normal so it cuts x axis at g so oz oz equals to abscess of p so what is equation of normal at p x y so y minus y1 but here point is x y so y minus suppose this is capital Y. So, our equation is like that. 
डी वाई माइनस वाई वन माइनस डी एक्स वन बाई डी वाई वन इन टू एक्स माइनस एक्स वन सो दिस इज नॉर्मल एट एक्स वन वाई वन बट हेयर पॉइंट इज गिवेन एज पी एक्स कमान वाई सो हेयर नॉर्मल इज सपोज दिस इज कैपिटल वाई माइनस स्मॉल वाई सो दिस इज डी एक्स बाई डी वाई इन टू कैपिटल एक्स माइनस स्मॉल एक्स सिंस इट इज स्पेसिफाइड एक्स कॉमा वाई अदरवाइज यू कैन टेक इक्वेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल एट एक्स वन वाई वन एंड एट लास्ट यू हैव टू रिप्लेस एक्स वन बाई एक्स वाई वन बाई वन जस्ट लाइक प्रीवियस वन सो वेन इट काट्स एक्स एक्सिस वेन इट काट्स एक्स एक्सिस सो कैपिटल वाई दिस इज कारेंट कॉर्डिनेट वाई इक्वस टू जीरो सो वट इज माइनस वाई equals to minus dx by dy into capital X minus small x. So capital X minus small x equals to y minus y in, into dy by dx. Minus minus cancel. So what is capital X? X plus y into dy by dx. So this is coordinate of g. That is O g. This is O g. Distance from origin O g. So now it is given that O g equals to x coordinate of p. Or twice. Distance of g is twice the abscissa. Twice. So given condition, given condition O g equals to twice x. This is given. So x plus y dy dx equals to 2x. 2x. Now, our aim is to solve. This is now differential equation. Solve this differential equation. dy by dx equals to x. So y dx equals to x dy. So x square by 2 y dy equals to x dx. So x square by 2 y square by 2 plus c by 2. So x square minus y square equals to c. So which is equation of c? Here no condition is given to find c. So this is equation. So this is equation of a rectangular hyperbola. So x square minus y square. So hyperbola coefficient of x square equals to coefficient of y square. So exactly same that of earlier. Now we consider some typical problems. So these are all problems of IIT. So twelve, fourteen, and seventeen. Suppose problem number seventeen. A car passing through two three and satisfying the differential equation. Find f x. That is the car. So look, given condition is zero to x t y to d t equals to x square into y x. So we know Leibniz theorem. We differentiate it by Leibniz theorem. We have already discussed through a video application of Leibniz theorem. So if we differentiate it, integration will be all eliminated. And t is replaced by x upper limit x into y x. Then derivative of upper limit. This is one. So we are getting this minus t is replaced by lower limit. But since derivative of lower limit is zero, so no need of writing. This is x square into y dash x. Put a rule. Two x into y x. Now. X square y dash x plus 2x y x and this is x y x so minus x y x equals to zero. Now this is plus, not minus. So this is x square into this. This is 2x, 2x and x. So one x is cancel out. One x is cancel out.
so since x not equals to 0 we cancel 1x 1 into y dash so this is y x equals to 0 now it is differentiation of d dx of x into y x equals to 0 because look you can find integrating factor also or you look by product rule x unchanged y dash y into this so if we integrate it we get x into y x equals to constant what it c which is general solution now to find c one condition is given or not so a car passing through two three so when x equals to 2, y equals to 3. So what is c? c equals to 6. So therefore equation of the card x, y equals to 6. x, y equals to 6. So what is y? y equals to 6 by x. Now we have to calculate. So what we have to calculate? So satisfying this, so write the problem again. So you look again. The problem is a car passing through 2, 3 and satisfying this equation. X greater than 0. Then x square, 4 alternatives are given. x square plus y square, 13, x, y, third and so forth. Fourth also. So look, we have already solved this equation. And we have got x y equals to c. So using initial condition, we get c equals to 6. Therefore, the curve is, what is curve? So put value of c. The curve is x y equals to c, c is 6. So x y equals to 6 is equation of the curve. x y, this is a rectangular hyperbola. So use Leibniz theorem, reduce it in terms of differential equation find general solution, find C and you get the equation of car. So this is very simple also. Now problem number 14, exactly same, exactly same. So look, our condition is 6 f f t d t 3x fx minus x cube. So first differentiate it by Leibniz rule. So we get 6 fx. This is 6 fx. fx derivative of x. So 3 fx. Derivative of x is 1. Now 3x unchanged. This is f dash x minus 3x square. Now differential equation is 3 cancel. x f dash x plus x f dash x plus 3fx this is minus so this is minus 3fx equals to 3x square so 3 3 cancel so this is 3 this is 2fx 3 cancel so f dash x so if we write one step this is 2fx minus fx plus 3x into f dash x so minus x square so x into f dash x minus fx. If you transfer this, you get x square. So this is our differential equation. So f dash x equals to minus 1 by x into fx equals to x. So this is linear differential equation. So we can easily integrate it by integrating factor. e to the power minus 1 by x dx. So e to the power minus log x equals to 1 by x. So 1 implies x into, so y into integrating factor, y is here fx, fx into 1 by x equals to integration. So x into 1 by x, this is 1 dx. So omitting one step, left hand side is fx into integrating factor. So what we are getting? fx equals to fx 1 by x fx equals to x plus c. This implies fx equals to 
x square plus c x. So, which is general solution. Now, look f1 equals to 2. What is f1? f1 is 2. So, when x equals to 1, it is given, it is given x equals to 1. So, fx equals to 2. So, this implies, this implies 2 equals to 1 plus c. So, what is c? c is 1. So, our particular solution. So, we have already got the solution. So, what is particular solution? fx equals to x square plus x. Now, we get any value f1, f2, f3 as you please. So, this is also very, very simple problem. Now, problem number 12. Problem number 12. So, dy dx is given in this form. So, look. So, dy dx. So, if you simplify it, this is x plus 1. x by this, y by x plus 1. 3 by x plus 1. So, this x plus 1, y by this minus 3 by this. Now, we can transform it in terms of linear differential equation. x plus 1 minus 3 by x plus 1. So, call it 1. Now, it is linear form. So, what is integrating factor? You get integrating factor as 1 by x plus 1 dx with negative sign minus log x plus 1 so 1 by x plus 1 now you can easily solve it so this implies but 1 implies y into integrating factor equals to integration integrating factor this is 1 minus 3 by x plus 1 whole square dx so, multiplying it out by integrating factor is 1. Now, you can easily integrate it and using initial condition, you can find y. So, leave it. Main aim is you put it in standard form. Now, we consider these two differential equation. So, differential equation 9. So, this is very simple problem you need only formula of e to the power x. I have also already solved a problem like this. So, look, e to the power x, 1 plus x by factorial 1, x square by factorial 2, x cube by factorial 2. So, use this idea to this equation, t equals to, so x is replaced by this. So, it is e to the power ty dy by dt. So, this is ty dy by dt whole square by factorial. So, t equals to this. So, if you take log, log t equals to ty dy by dt. Now, separate the variable. So, log t by t into dt equals to y dy y dy. Now, variables are separated, you can easily integrate it. So, log t equals to p implies 1 by t dt equals to dp. So, this implies p dp equals to y dy. So, y square by 2 equals to p square by 2 plus c by 2. We can take constant as c. So, what is y square? E square plus c. So, y equals to plus minus root over e square plus c. What is p? Log t whole square plus c. So, look, this is problem number a. So, very simple problem. You need I only formula of e to the power x. And now, consider problem number c. This is also a typical problem. Now look, e to the power y by x. So, our main aim will be 
to express it in the form of function of y by x if possible so let us try so if we divide throughout by x y so we get x y equals to x square 2 x y plus y square by x y plus y by x so x by y 2 y by x e to the power minus y by x plus y by x so look this is expressible in terms of y by x this is our main end. now since it is function of y by x it is homogeneous so y equals to vx so dy dx v plus x dv dx now putting the values from 1 and 2 we get v plus x dv dx so this is 1 by v this is 2 this is 3 e to the power minus v v cancel now we separate the variable so e to the power v this is dv so this is e to the power v and this is 1 by 1 by v plus 2 plus v dv equals to dx by x so separation of variable now if we simplify it v e to the power v this is v square this is 2 v so v plus 1 whole square so separated variables are separated so we can integrate it now this is well known integration so e to the power x fx plus f dash x so your main aim will be to express it in the form e to the power x fx plus f dash x so fx is only v so you try to express v in terms of denominator so this is dx by x so e to the power v 1 by 1 plus v 1 by v plus 1 whole square into dv equals to dx by x now so this integration so you have to remember this step only so derivative if we consider this as fx this is f dash x so integration is e to the power v 1 by v equals to log x plus c so e to the power y by x by y by x plus 1 equals to log x plus c or x e to the power y by x by x plus y equals to log x plus c so which is general solution so this is most important problem also so integration this is also four mass problem this integration e to the power x fx plus f dash x dx so this is most important problem you can integrate by parts or putting x into e to the power fx equals to z now we consider two more problems so these are linear differential equation linear differential equation so these are also problem of iit but very simple problem so look problem number 19 so equation is given so we write it in standard form so x plus 1 divide throughout by x plus 1 f dash x minus 2 x common so x plus 1 x plus 1 cancel out so e to the power x square x plus 1 whole square so dividing throughout by x plus 1 so x plus 1 is common this is cancel out now it is integrating factor is e to the power p dx so e to the power minus 2x dx so e to the power x square over x. now it is negative also so minus x square. so if we integrate it if we different multiply number 1 by integrating factor we get fx into integrating factor equals to integration of right hand side so x plus 1 whole square dx so omitting one step we get this this one is cancelled out so minus 1 by x plus 1 
integration of this minus 2 plus 1 plus c. Now to get c one condition is given. So f0 equals to 5. So x equals to 0, fx equals to 5. So if we put e to the power 0 is 1. So 1 implies 5 equals to minus 1 plus c. So c equals to 6. C equals to 6. So what is particular solution? So particular solution is fx into e to the power minus x square. This plus 6. So or you can write it fx equals to x plus 1 LCM. So 6x minus 5 into e to the power x square. So this is particular solution. Very simple problem. Now consider the last one. So try to express it in terms of linear differential equation in standard form. So tan 2x by cos square x into y cos to the power 4x by cos square x. So this is cos square x. So tan 2x. So integrating factor, we calculate the integrating factor minus tan 2x by cos square x dx. So tan 2x, 2 tan x by 1 plus tan square x into cos square x. So 1 plus tan square x is 6 square x. So 6 square x and cos square x cancel. e to the power minus 2. So integration of tan x. So log sec x or log cos x if you take negative. So this is e to the power log cos square x that is cos square x. So from 1 we get y into cos square x, y into cos square x. So this plus is cancel out log cos x, log sec x. So log cos x too, so log cos square. So y into cos square x equals to integration cos to the power 4x dx. Now you can easily integrate, integrate it. You can integrate it by expressing it in the form of multiple angle. So you complete it. So in this class, we have solved some typical problem of differential equation typical but very simple and we have already taken six classes for the chapter of differential equation and I tried to cover all types of problems with basic to competitive problem also. So you solve the rest of the problem. Thank you.